Hi everyone. So today let's see what are those five reasons because of which students are not able to improve their math skills although they practice maths every day. Reason number one. Now this was something which I used to do as a student. Uh, suppose today was the maths practice. What I would do is I would open the chapter that I've decided to do and I would randomly select you know five to ten questions just randomly select it. I'll just do it one after the other. And that's it. My maths practice was done. I used to never uh, check, is there any uh, twisted question based on the same topic? Now, doing different type of questions is very important because it expands your knowledge of the subject and how you solve the questions. Okay, so make that a habit today. Reason number two. So suppose today I have to solve differentiation questions and I'm very good in algebra derivatives, not that good in trigonometric derivatives. So what I do is when I start the practice, I only solve the algebra questions and conveniently avoid, I don't even look that side on the trigonometric questions part. Do you also do that? Well, that is not the right approach at all. What you should be doing is, even if those questions on trigonometry derivatives are super, super tough, you have to find the answers to that. Now, you may say that I don't even know the method. How am I supposed to solve it? Well, there is internet. You can just type the question and you will get a detailed answer. Otherwise, ask your friend, ask your teacher, do whatever you want, but get the complete solution for those questions that you don't even want to see. Because your maths practice is effective only if you solve not just the questions that you know very well, but also those questions that make you feel uncomfortable. You need to know how to solve all type of questions, whether you like the topic or not. Reason number three. So do you just solve the questions one after the other and just close your books? Or do you check the answers also? Well, if you're checking, if the answers are correct, then you are among the very rare percentage of people who do that because many students simply don't check the answers of the questions. So when asked why they don't, they have plenty of reasons. They say that, oh, this answer looks very nice. It looks fine. I think the answer will be correct. Or they say that, no, 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 I'm very scared to even check the answer. What if it's wrong? I spent so much time, you know, solving the question. <laughs> well, friends, these are fine. But is this going to help you um, in your maths? No, right? This attitude definitely has to change. So whether you like it or not, after solving all the questions, make sure you check the answers of each and every question because that is the only way you will know if you are on the right track, whether you have understood the concepts well. Now, the fourth reason is very closely related to your third reason. So suppose you're checking your answers and some of them are wrong. Do you just put a cross on those answers and close the book? Yes, and do nothing about it. Well, that's not the right approach. So if your questions, some of the questions are wrong, what you need to do is immediately, then and there, find what is wrong. Do the correction because that is when you will learn what went wrong. And just put a mark around that question. Maybe you can put a cross or maybe say redo. And after one or two days, do the question again. See if you are able to recall the steps. Check if you are making the same mistake or making some new mistake, whatever it is. You have to do the question after one or two days. That's when the answer will be finely imprinted in your brain. Okay, so make sure you do the corrections of all the wrong answers. Reason number five. Now, do you often say statements like my maths is very weak. I never get these formulae right. My calculus is very poor. I always make calculation mistakes. Well, these statements, when you tell yourself or you tell others often every day, the mind will make sure that they come true. So your brain will make sure that you become weaker in maths. You make more calculation mistakes. You never remember the formula. Well, do you want all that? No, right? So what is the way out? Well, you have to tell yourself positive, true feedback. So if suppose you, today you did uh, say two to three questions correctly, you need to tell yourself, wow, I got two questions correct, perfectly done today. Or suppose you remembered a particularly difficult formula today. 
tell yourself excellent i remembered this formula very well today that means i'm improving in my maths so start telling yourself more positive things like this and reduce that negative talk even if maths doesn't end up being your most favorite subject we don't want maths to be your most hated subject right you don't want that i'm sure so what do you do start telling yourself more positive things reduce the negative chatter and try to follow these uh, five reasons that i mentioned so all the best for your math studies and if you found this video useful do give it a like do subscribe to our channel so till we meet again take care